The typical pre-clovis artifact from Topper uh, is made on a flake, so it's already a, a small item. Um, they're not uh, stone spears, as we normally think of Clovis and later. Um, we refer to them as microliths, small stone tools. This is made on a flake, uh, a piece of chert that somebody thousands of years ago struck off. And what they would do is they would work the very end of it, making into a bevel like a scraper. Um, and it would be used probably just like this, maybe for ivory or wood to make another spear perhaps. And, and the work is very delicate and obvious. And with a simple hand lens such as this, you can, uh, you can see the, the work that's been done, carefully done by a human um, on that edge. So this would be a typical scraper you would find in the Upper Paleolithic uh, in Russia or Siberia or Texas or wherever. One of the best examples of uh, a definitive artifact would be this core that was found uh, two seasons ago uh, down in the Pleistocene Terrace. Uh, this beautiful, almost flint-like material. Um, anybody from any time period would desire this to make their tools. And this has a number of what we call scars or detachments where people have removed flakes. What's also interesting about it is um, whoever was doing this, uh, individuals or groups, were experiencing the same problems modern day flint nappers do when they, when they could repeatedly beat and batter a core and a flake won't fly off. What you get are these distinctive batters, so battering, <clears throat> battering marks. So this has probably been hit over a dozen times just like that. Uh, there's another series of batter marks here uh, and another small series there. So that's what happens when you when you crack these off. But um, I think it's uh, readily apparent that the this material is uh, what we call very high quality tool stone. Now even though this is a, a, a quarry, a stone quarry for the Clovis people, um, there was more going on here with Clovis culture than just making tools that were removed from here. Uh, we have what we call tools that would be needed for habitation life or camp life here. And here's one particularly good example. It's a scraper. You could call it a, a side scraper. It's made on a, on a big thick flake, but it's been dressed all the way around on all surfaces and it would be a wonderful tool to, to scrape with. Um, and these are common on Clovis sites. So this in all likelihood was made here, used here, and just perhaps dropped. It wouldn't take that much time. But this has nothing to do with working stone. This might have to do with working uh, fabric or skin or wood. And another common tool that we find uh, at the Topper Clovis quarry is what we call denticulate. And that, that means just what it sounds like. It has teeth-like projections, these sharp teeth-like uh, uh, projections were created by flaking and we're not exactly sure but we think that they were using that perhaps to work uh, some sort of vegetable fiber maybe stripping out fibers that would be used for clothing or or rope or whatever so we do find um, a, a lot of the denticulates here and we believe those reflect an activity um, that were that was that was commonly practiced here while early humans were using the stone quarry